this looks awesome. I can't wait. This is ahi, this is tuna. It's a spicy mayo dressing. Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens. I'm in Waipahu in Oahu in Hawaii. And this is a place I've been wanting to come for, for a very long time. It's called Taniokas. They specialize in all sorts of local Hawaii foods. I'm gonna step inside, I'm gonna order a bunch of food, and then after we get the food, we're probably gonna drive somewhere, hopefully beautiful, to eat. Thank you. So you step in here and immediately you can smell the aroma of the poke, especially that's what I'm noticing. Uh, it's kind of a convenient, no, it's mostly a restaurant. I mean, they have some small snacks. They have, you can get your drinks as well. They have fridges stocked with drinks. Uh, but the main thing that you want to come here for is all of the, the pre-cooked food. Can I get three of the ahi belly bowls? Uh, the poke. Oh, we have hot ale poke. Yeah. And one hot ale poke. So this part of my order. Okay. I got right here. I got okay. ahi and I got salmon patty. We get two, two ahi, please. And then also... Can I like it? You want fried chicken, you? Okay. Sure. How about mochiko chicken? Can we have two pieces also? Thank you. Thank you. And then also... Thank you. Is that good? Yes. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Okay, got the bags of food. That's this is one of those places where it's you 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 buy a lot of food, but you always feel like you forgot something. There's so much to order. There's such a variety. They have everything. Oh, it looks amazing. I'm gonna load the poke. Actually, I mean, you don't, you wouldn't need to refrigerate it if you're gonna eat it very soon, but to keep it nice and cool and fresh, I'm gonna stick this into the, the ice chest, especially the poke. Here. Okay, we've got a full set meal. We've got a full ice chest now. There are drinks in here. Be There's... careful, Micah. Micah, you wanna get some of that poke? <laughs> I want to get some out in the <laughs> Okay, let's go. Awesome, awesome place, even though I haven't even tasted the food yet, but it, yeah, you know it's gonna be good. Uh, we've decided to drive over to Kahe Point. Uh, that's a, an area I haven't visited very often. It's been years since I've been over there, so we're gonna go over there to eat. drove down Farrington Highway and stopped at Kahe Point. The views were absolutely spectacular. The ocean there is gorgeous, but we didn't end up eating there because there wasn't a real nice place to sit down. There wasn't a grassy area. So after just looking at the amazing ocean, we decided to backtrack a little ways. This is just just a very, just like a five minute drive away from Kahe Point is Ko'olina. And there are a series of lagoons. There are a lot of luxury hotels in this area as well. Ah, uh, it's a beautiful place. Look at all this expanse of grass. It's perfect for having a picnic. And it's also especially good for kids because they have a lagoon where the water is nice and calm. These are perfect picnicking grounds. This is where we're gonna eat taniokas. Ah, uh, but just to let you know, Ying and Micah, they are taking a nap in the car because Micah was sleepy and he needs his mid-morning nap. Uh, and so I thought I would show you all the food. I'm gonna taste test, uh, show you all the food, and then that way I finish the video by the time that they uh, finish their nap, and then we can all eat together, and maybe Micah will take a swim as well, and then we'll, we probably won't film that, but I wanna show you all of the food. The 
first thing that I'm dying to try is the spicy tuna over sushi rice. This looks awesome. I can't wait. It's either sesame oil or kukui nut oil, but you can smell it. Oh, it's, it's definite. It fills your nose with goodness. This is ahi, this is tuna. Uh, it's sort of sort of minced up, sort of like little small pieces. Uh, there, it, it's a spicy mayo dressing all over sushi, I think it's sushi rice, and then there's some furikake, which is the seaweed flakes. There are green onions on top. This is just gorgeously beautiful. Oh wow. My first bite alone was worth driving all the way out to Tanioka's. That is sushi rice. You can taste the vinegar in it. It's a little sweet. You can taste the seaweed in there. And then that tuna, again, it's just like, it melts in your mouth. And I think I can taste a little bit of ginger in there too. That's stunning. What a combination. That's sensational. You're gonna love that. All right, what should I choose next? How about the ahi patties? And these are, these are very well known at Tanioka's. These are uh, minced, or yeah, I'm not really sure, minced tuna uh, fried into patty form. And I know that most people that go to Tanioka's get some of these patties as well. And they also have salmon, but I went with ahi. Mm. Oh, oh, that's amazing. I believe that there's a lot of egg in there. It makes it more moist. And then number two, it makes it kind of fluffy and gives it some flavor mixed in with that tuna because if it was just tuna, and oftentimes tuna can be a little dry when it's cooked, you can taste maybe just salt and pepper in there for seasoning. But what they've done a great job of is, yeah, getting that ratio of fish to egg down and frying it like that. Oh, that is, that's tasty. You have to order this. Maybe a lot of onions and garlic in there too. Okay, next up, this is their deluxe Spam Musabi. And Spam Musabi is rice uh, with a piece of Spam, usually on the top or can be in the center. This one is deluxe, so you can see all that furikake, all the sesame seeds, pieces of seaweed in there, and then it's wrapped with seaweed as well. That looks delicious. And there's rice kind of wrapped all the way around it, but you can just see that slight piece of the pink meat, the beautiful, the beautiful luncheon meat, the Spam. I'm gonna make this first bite count. Oh, that's awesome. I managed to get quite a bit of furikake in that bite. The seaweed is delicious. The rice is a little bit on the sweet side, but that's how it's supposed to be. It tastes perfect. Um, or that probably might be coming from the shoyu kind of glaze that they add to it. Uh, the spam on the inside is nice and salty and just melts, just, it just falls apart in your mouth. Um, the seaweed, oh, this is, this just brings back great memories. Don't miss the Spam Musubi when you go to Tanioka's either. You can eat this thing in like three or four bites. You're gonna finish that whole thing without taking a break. And I didn't save any for my wife Ying because she doesn't like Spam. That was tasty. I loved every single bite of it. Got another side bowl here of poke. I can't remember the exact name of this one, but I think it's the spicy akal. Oh, that's a, that is a, a luscious looking sauce and just nuggets, just cubes of raw fish. Poke is just something that never gets old. I could eat it every single day and still love it. Oh, that's insane. The fish melts in your mouth. The sauce is a little bit spicy. It's a little bit sweet and you can taste sesame oil or kukui nut oil, and there are green onions in there. This is a bowl, uh, and it comes with ahi, which I think is, it looks like it's deep fried uh, tuna. I think it's ahi belly, tuna belly, and then it also comes with poke on the side, so this one is, uh, I don't know which poke this is. Um, I just ended up ordering a couple of different versions all, with, all within those bowls, uh, but then it's over rice, regular rice. You can eat, either get sushi rice or regular rice. I got regular rice, uh, and then they put on some dressing, some mayo, and that also looks fantastic. So scoop from the bottom. Oh yes.
Oh, so you've got the cooked tuna, the cooked ahi, which is warm and fried, and you've got that crunchy layer. Then you've got the raw tuna, which is just melt in your mouth and slightly chilled. You've got the warm rice, you've got seaweed all in there, and those sauces. Okay, time for the mochiko chicken. So mochiko chicken, it's another one of the classic Hawaii foods. Uh, it's a combination of local Hawaii plus Japanese, uh, sort of similar to Japanese karage fried chicken, uh, but it's covered in mochiko flour and then deep fried. And I think it looks boneless actually, but there's only one way to find out, which I'm just trying to even navigate which bite to take first. Okay, I'm going right here. It has this little bit of a, a sweet tinge to it, but the meat, the chicken inside is so succulent, it's not dried out at all. Um, the skin is crispy. Yeah, there's some really crispy edges on that. And then it's just kind of a light, salty, sweet, peppery seasoning on it. This is another classic. This is really old style Hawaii sushi. Um, and look at the size of these rolls. I think it's called futomaki. There's carrots in there. Uh, I'm not sure what the green is in there. I think that's tuna. Uh, but look how much rice that is. That's like, uh, that's a little big for one bite, but I think it can be done. To be honest, that one's not my favorite. It's really sweet, uh, but you do taste the ginger in there. You taste the fish, and then it's really quite a lot of rice. Uh, yeah, that one is not my favorite, however, it does. I, I do remember eating that as a kid. Um, whenever you go to Hawaii parties, family gatherings, you'll always have some sushi like that. Okay, and that completes all the small dishes. It's time for dessert. Micah. Micah should be hungry, yeah? I can't exactly remember what they call this, but it's some type of fried poi. And it's kind of a hockey puck shaped size. It is very oily. As soon as you touch it, you get oil on your fingers. Um, and it's definitely deep fried. It's definitely crispy, but then very soft and kind of supple. Um, I think it's poi mochi. Really like gooey, really sticky but then it's deep fried so it's crunchy as well. You do taste the plate flavor of the poi, that kind of starchy taro flavor with a little bit of that sourness as well. Well, that's pretty awesomely good. It's really dense though, it's really filling really thick. Yeah, confirmed, this is really good. And that's a perfect way to end your meal. Okay, I'm gonna circle back over to the spicy tuna over sushi rice. This is one of the best things. This is one of my favorite things at Taniokas. Taniokas, that was an awesome meal. Let me tell you the highlights for me were, okay, the, I loved the spicy ahi with uh, uh, sushi rice. That was delicious. The, the bowl with the fried ahi and also the poke, that was top grade. And then also I really, really liked those ahi tuna patties. I can't think of a better meal to just sit on the beach and just relax and eat like that. That's gonna be it for this Tanioka's food video. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. I'd love to hear from you in the comments section below. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now and also click the bell icon so that you get notified of all my future videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.